Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? It's Thursday, March 29th, 2018. First of all, let me just say this. I am exhausted. I am just so tired today and I just, I don't know why. Anyway, lots of stuff going on here and a few things that we have got to pay attention to. As a matter of fact, things I just spoke about yesterday. I said we had a watch to see if they were going to unfold like I thought they might. Well, they are. All except for one. And I want to cover that. It's important. As I am doing this video blog, um, stocks are higher across the board. Um, where this day ends is anyone's guess because there's a few dynamics going on that we have got to pay attention to. There's a lot of people out here uh, that I've been speaking to yesterday that believe that this sell-off is over. I'm not convinced yet, again, because of several things that are occurring. And, and let's cover that. And I, I discussed it yesterday. I said, watch for these things. Right here. Yesterday I said we should look for pressure on precious metals. Well, that's occurring right now. I also said I expected bond yields to drop. Cash right now, people, is going right into that bond market. If you're not watching this video on my website, and I please start watching my videos on my website if you're not, um, glance down at that bond market chart. Put some sunglasses on so your eyeballs don't explode. They're in there buying up those bonds again. Yields are dropping. These are huge. This is, again, the kind of thing you would expect to see before another uh, precipitous drop in the stock market. We're missing one link that I did discuss yesterday, and that is this. I expected the dollar to go down. My arrow means the dollar. I was actually wrong on, on this one here. The dollar um, is weaker today. Um, I expected the dollar to get a little bit stronger, hence that arrow. So out of the four things I discussed yesterday that we needed to look out for, one of them did not fall into place yet. Again, there's always a knee jerk. Understand. For some reason, people feel that the safest place to be um, when a market is melting down is in the safety of debt. I know, it's, it seems insane, but that's the truth. Uh, the dollar also being a unit of debt. We saw this last time in 2008. Metals got pulled down first as the same kind of thing was going on. And then um, they reversed. Obviously, metals went markedly higher. We'll see how that plays out moving forward. But this, to me, to me, and I know I'm going to get trolled over this, is a buying opportunity for precious metals. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, oop, wrong side, is this. Cryptos. Cryptocurrencies are getting hammered. And I still believe that observing the price action of cryptocurrencies is a leading indicator of risk for the stock market. So, with that said, if you if you look at what uh, cryptos are doing, well, cryptos are doing. I told you I was tired. Uh, and you look at what's going on over here. This may be a setup for another leg down. But again, this is not written in stone. I want you to just keep your eyes on these things. This could flip around. But as of right now, I'm not convinced of anything. I'm not convinced that just because stocks are higher, again, as I am doing this, uh, th that this is over. Uh, I am not convinced of that at all. Might be. Don't know. I'm going to sit back and just watch it uh, and then put money to work accordingly. Right now, the best thing to do, in my opinion, especially because we got a three-day weekend. This market is closed tomorrow for Good Friday. Um, I sincerely doubt I'm going to be entering any positions today. Will I pull off a little day trade today? Eh, maybe I don't know. Even with that, we'll see. I don't. I don't. I don't see any great opportunities here. I think the best opportunity is to watch this whole thing. Watch what's happening to gold. Watch what's happening to silver. Watch what's happening to the debt market. Look at the cash going into there, pushing yields lower. Watch what the dollar is doing. Watch those cryptocurrencies as well as a leading indicator. So with that said, let's watch everything. Let's sum this all up at the end of the day. And uh, I think next week is going to be 
a good one for us uh, to trade this market uh, and for, to look for opportunities. But we'll, we'll talk about that at the end of the day. And I will see you there over and out.